Let's go. Let's go. I wish you life, man. I know a lot of people that are scared to go die Couple of them thinking they'll be living in the sky While I'm here living, man, I gotta ask why What am I here for? I gotta figure out Waste my life, no, I gotta make it count If Christ is real, then what am I gonna do about? Everything in Luke 12, 15, now the 21 You really gotta go and check it out Paul said if Christ ain't resurrected Then we wasted our lives But that implies that our life's built around Jesus being alive Every day I live, we tryna show the world why Christ is more than everything you'll ever try Better than pretty women and sitting and living To get a minute of any women, a minute you admire Hey guys what are your names? Ivy. Connor. Andrew. So, where do you think you guys would go if you died today? If I died today? I say, like, after we died, like, physically we go in the dirt, but our spirit lives on. And, like, yeah. So, you believe there's an afterlife? Yeah. I mean, I would say afterlife to an extent. Yeah. I feel like our spirit just hovers around and then, like, we find where to be reincarnated. Do you it's think like, you'll be conscious? You'll be aware of anything? Um, I feel like, yeah, I think you will. Yeah. Okay. Like, do you think how you live in this life matters with what happens to you after? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I believe a common person. No, I feel that. Yeah, like, like, for sure. If you act some type of way, like your spirit is going to take a toll on you, you know? Kind of like karma? Yeah. yeah. Do you believe in karma? Of course, yeah. So you're not certain what happens, right? No, I'm not. You're not 100% certain? I mean, no one's certain. Know. Know. Right. Actually, certain. Actually, would you believe that it's possible to be certain? Oh, no, it's I, okay. not. No, 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 no. So how, do you, how, how can you be so certain that you can't be certain? Or wait, no, okay, I got, I got to. No, no, you can't be 100% sure. At the same time, it could be like, like, you never know until it really okay. happens. Okay. It's impossible. No, wait, wait, you have to either believe or disbelieve. Are you a good person, all three of you? I, 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 mean, I have my good moments, my bad, I'm okay. gonna be honest, yeah. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, everyone everyone has, has told a lie. It's all about, like, okay. God and what do you yeah. call people who tell lies? Liars, fairly. Like, if, yeah. if it's compulsive. That's true. If it's right? compulsive. If, if, it's if you just want to be like, yeah. Totally honest about it. It's just a liar. Yeah, right? you're a liar. That's true. How, how about uh, have you ever stolen anything ever in your whole life? A couple times. Yeah. I mean, when I was a child, yeah. I stole a Snickers bar. I've stolen yeah, a I mean, yeah. When I was a kid, you know, you see something shiny, you're like, wow, that's great. And Especially my mom candy. made me yeah. return it. Yeah. Candy. What do you call people who steal? Stealers. Right. Yeah. Thieves. Have you ever used God's name like a curse word? Uh, Sometimes in place yeah. of a curse word, it's I mean, like no. OMG. Yeah. yeah, or JC, something like that. But when I say oh, that, yeah. I, don't, I don't like, because like, I don't really think you should be like, oh my god, you know? But like, I it's like, oh my gosh. I know I'm not saying it in vain, because I'm yeah. not. Yeah. Right, really but imagine if I replace that with your mom's name, right? Oh, Let's say her, her name is Stella. I stub my toe, I say, Stella, right? And shout out Mila. That's, <laughs> that's not respectful to your you. mom, is it, right? Yeah. But but God is the one who gave you life, exactly. right? And he said, you know, it's, it's a very terrible thing to misuse his name uh -huh. yeah. so here's what you've told me okay you're a liar a thief and a blasphemer are, are you not i am too See, i'm in the same are. boat as you but that doesn't make it okay exactly right, right. we're all human right Everyone but that's, makes mistakes. But, 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 but that's the most important thing god has the right to punish every last one of us uh -huh. exactly right? but it's like how you but like... he does it well he could yeah Definitely. but i want you to know how you can be forgiven because not everybody is going to be forgiven exactly. yeah. nice. you gotta so pray. do you know I mean, pray usually what I do every night before I fall asleep is I pray like, I have this passage that I memorize pray. Okay. how about you I just like if I mess up I just talk to God for a minute I'm like I'm sorry I, I did something wrong this is my bad okay and you you don't know L let me help okay let me help you with the, um, the issue of saying sorry okay imagine if I broke the law I stole $10 million from people's trust funds. No, retirement funds, okay? So $10 million from retirement funds. And people are starving. They catch me. I tell the judge, I'm sorry. Can you not, forget, uh, can you not punish me? Why are they starving? <laughs> no, because I stole, their, I, I stole their retirement fund. These are old people. They can't work. I mean, you can't say that, sorry, a, That's like, a bigger extent. Ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Like, it doesn't matter. Big like, or small, the, the principle is the same, right? He but can't forgive know, you just because you like, asked. I'm going to like shoot up a school and be like, I'm sorry, and that's all I'm going to say. I mean, I would say just like, as long as you have the right intention when you do it, like if you if you pray like with like a, like a clean heart, like a, trying to clean your palate of sins mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. But don't you see, if I'm in a court of law and I've broken the law, yeah, no, I'm saying I can't just say, yeah, just, can't. just don't punish me, right? That's no, not going to work. You accept but like, when would I ever do that and consequences for what you do here, actually. Exactly, and the consequence is that we have to be punished according to the law. Yeah, exactly. Now, so I'm stuck. 
right? But here, imagine this scenario. You know, you've done something terrible. The judge is going to throw you in jail. Somebody comes into the court and says, Your Honor, don't throw this person in jail quite yet because the law says it's either 10 years or a $10 million fine. He doesn't have it. She doesn't have it. But I do. Here's a briefcase. And the judge is stunned, right? He's never seen this before. He counts the money. All $10 million are there. He takes the gavel and he goes, bam, paid in full. It is finished. You're free to go. Is that fair? Somebody paying your fine. Is that, is that legal? I mean, that's legal. That's legal, right? You can get a speeding ticket. Your mom can pay the fine, right? Exactly. Now, so the, the law was fulfilled in that situation. Yeah. And did you receive mercy? I mean, yeah. yeah, because you didn't have to be punished. In the same way, when I face God, someone has to pay for my sins. Exactly. Typically, it's me. But there is someone who could pay in my behalf. Exactly. Who am I talking about? Jesus Christ, God, who came into the world, came in the flesh, fully God, fully human, and he was punished on my behalf so he could fulfill justice. Does that make sense? And because he fulfilled the law, he was punished in my behalf, then I could receive his forgiveness. Now, in the same scenario, if that guy came into the courtroom and gave the judge money to pay for your fine, and the judge is gonna look at you and he'll say, do you want that man to pay for your fine? You're gonna say yes or no, what would you say? I would say yes. Right, you'd be a fool to say no. Exactly. Same thing, God is looking at you, he's saying, do you want to pay for your own crimes exactly. forever in eternal punishment? Or do you want Jesus, my, my beloved son, to pay on your behalf? That's why Jesus died for you. Exactly. In John 3, 16, here's what Jesus said. For God so loved the world, that's me and you, uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in Jesus, will not perish and have everlasting life. I just told you how to go to heaven. Can you tell me in your own words, because I want to make sure you remember. Tell me how to go to heaven in your own words. I can go to heaven. I would say just do it right. But nope. if you, there's no such <laughs> I just told you. Here's what the sins. Bible says. Ratify there is no, there, there is no one righteous, no not one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It is by faith you're saved through grace. Okay? So, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever what? Whoever believes in him, whoever believes in Jesus, will not perish but have everlasting life. One more verse, John 6, 47, Jesus said, he who believes in me, he who believes in me has everlasting life. Tell me how to go to heaven. I mean, just have faith. In? In uh, Yahweh. Believe. Yeah. Well, Yahweh, it's true. Jesus is Yahweh. He's God. Jesus I want to help you. Son. Yeah, the Son. There's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They, they make one God, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah. But the Father didn't die on the cross. Yeah. The Holy Spirit didn't die on the cross. Jesus. Only Jesus died on the cross. That's why it says in that verse that whoever believes in the Son yeah. has everlasting life. So, now, do you believe what I just told you? I believe what you told me. Now, you didn't really know how to go to heaven until I walked up, yeah. right? Would you like to, once and for all, on camera, in front of the whole world, Give your life, your whole life, to Jesus forever. Yeah. What's your first name again? Ivan. Ivan? Ivy. Ivy. I Ivan. Ivy. Okay. Um, is, it, is it okay if I pray for you and then you and then you ask in your own words for God to forgive you and for Jesus to save you? Yeah. Okay. Heavenly Father, I want to lift up Ivan to you. Um, he's heard the gospel and understood it for the first time today. Would you please forgive his sins? Bring him into the family of God. Save him, forgive all his sins. Go ahead, Ivan. So what do I do again? Just, just in your own words, just ask God to forgive you and save you. Um, please, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. I humbly repent for them. And I pray that you can take away my hopeless ways and allow me to have some hope today. I'm very grateful for every bolt of strength you throw my way that keeps me coping. And I appreciate the fact that I can feel emotion. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. I wish you life, man. I know a lot of people that are scared to go die. Couple of them thinking they'll be living in the sky. While I'm here living, man, I gotta ask why. What am I here for? I gotta figure out. Waste my life, no, I gotta make it count.